You good? You good? Microphone? You good? You, 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 you want to stay where you want to be? The threads on my microphone broke, so I need to get something that plugs into it and records into it. Because, like, literally it's like propping it up against something and it's kind of working. And then, like, my lens, the focus ring is just not working very well, so I have to, like swivel it for like five fucking minutes to get the focus to work. Hi, hello. Um, I'm getting a new lens soon because um, I've been oogling at some Sigma ones. Hi friends, I know it's been a bit, it's been a while. It's been a while. Um, hi, how is everybody doing? I'm not doing great, but you know, like with the state of the world, it's not that unheard of to not be doing that great. Thanks so much for kind of giving me the week to uh, uh, chill and to not have to worry about uploading and to not have to worry about really anything internet wise, because getting back to work and getting back to a normal sleep schedule is still an ongoing process, but I think we're getting there. So today we're just going to do a good old fashioned get ready with me because I want to share some things with you and I want to talk about some things and I have no other way to talk about them other than while putting on makeup and my upper lip is sweating because it's hot as fuck. So I'm not wearing a bra or like I'm wearing a tank top. I have some new jewelry that I wanted to show you all. I have some new masks I want to show you because I just I've, I've bought some things recently, you know, I needed masks anyway. So I wanted to get some that are fashionable. Um, let's just start with foundation, okay? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I grabbed a few palettes today. I grabbed my um, decaf quad from Midas, the new, or the, from the coffee collection. Um, my lethal one that I made, like that I made the color story and then my JD Glow shadows. I don't know what I'm gonna do today, but I felt like using all three. Speaking of Midas, um, before we get into heavy shit, I guess. Um, let's start with some like cool stuff, cool things. Um, Midas, if you did not know, they're an indie brand and I've talked about them plenty of times. They did, where's my, where's my foundation brush? <laughs> Wait, it's been too long. <laughs> Midas just came out with well, they're coming out with, I think the pre-order is like Friday. Um, this new From Dust Till Dawn face palette collection that was a collaboration with Neon MUA. And oh my God, I am so proud of what they were able to make. Holy shit, that is such a great range. Like I've been seeing pictures of it and it just makes me happy to see Midas like really doing their thing and making things that are needed in the industry and needed in the community. Um, Cause I have been seeing like, I think Makeup Revolution came out with some like really dark bronzers. I know Nima Tang did a vi video about the Makeup Revolution bronzers, but yeah, I am very excited for Midas. I'm definitely gonna be getting the Dawn. Is it Dawn? I'm a fair bitch. So I think the lightest one will work for me. But yeah, I just, I wanted to share that with y'all. I don't know if you had seen it. I'm excited with what they were able to make and I can't wait to see the rest of the stuff that they make this year. Oh my God. Speaking of indie brands and collabs, um, I went on the Half Cousins podcast last weekend. Um, me and Nisa and Hannah, all guested on Half Cousins. Uh, we did a round of makeup bingo, um, all having to do with like black owned makeup brands and like collabs with like black celebrities and influencers. So if you did not see that, I'll have a link to that up here. We played bingo for like two hours. It was a good time, it was fun. Um, and like, there was a lot of like blast from the past stuff of like in like collabs from like 2015. And I was like, wow, this is some old shit. <laughs> Like Jackie's collab with like, I think she had like an elf trio or like an elf quad or something. I don't remember old, like two, 2016, 2015. So yeah, that was, that was fun. We had a good time. I was like, I haven't do, done anything all week on YouTube, but yes, I will be a guest on your guys' podcast. Um, speaking of Jackie, that was the other thing I'm super excited about. Like there's been so many like collabs and like influencer brands things come out recently that like, it's been a nice distraction of like, I don't know, everything else happening in the beauty community. Like Christie's palette came out with Pure, even though the website like broke on the first day like holy shit very excited for her for that I definitely will be getting my hands on it at some point um because like seeing snitchery's video where she showed the swatches I was like oh I love that yellow <laughs> that yellow looks really good yeah that collab came out I'm super excited for her 
Jackie's Forever Mood candle line. I was like, Jackie's coming out with, like, the video, the promo video, just the aesthetic of the promo video, I was so into. And I was, I, I was confused for a bit. And I was like, what is Jackie coming out with? Is it homeware? Is it... No, it's candles. And I was like, fuck yes, candles. <laughs> so, you know, I'm a sucker for a good candle. So I will be, I'm, I, I just am excited to see what smells they have. Cause I love candles. Maybe not right now cause it's hot as fuck, but you know, sometimes you just need a candle to cover up the smell of the hot trash that you haven't taken out for three days. You know, you know that struggle when you're like, it's my trash is full because my neighbors like to put their trash in my trash. And so I can't take my trash out for three days. And I happen to have like a plastic container where my dad had uh, uh, shrink wrapped some salmon that has now been sitting in the, in the trash for three days. And it's starting to stink every time you open the trash can, you know, um, I just put on some new fake nails. These are, I believe are from Polished 13 on Etsy. I'll link them. I got this pair and then another pair that are very long. They're longer than I expected. I was like, oh shit, how am I gonna wear these? And then I have some coming in the mail. I also ordered from The Nailist, which I saw Jackie talk about in her video about nails. That was such an informative video. I was like, oh my God, like I need to be doing way more with my nails. So yeah, these I'm like so into. They're so spiky and like, like their claws and they have like gold little accents on the end. I'm into it. Yeah, I've been on Etsy a lot lately. Buying masks. I have some more masks coming in the mail. I have some neon ones that I've ordered and I'm pretty sure the girl who makes them is just like a one woman operation. So like it's taken her a little longer, which is like fine, whatever. Um, Cause I have so many. I'll include pictures of the masks that I've gotten. Um, I, my fringe masks are currently drying on the floor on a towel because I need to hand wash them because I'm not about to put those beautiful things in the dryer. I've been living my Orville Peck life and I love it. I have another one that I got from, um, not a fringe mask, uh, from Consequence of Sound. I got two from Consequence of Sound. I got one that says, see you in the pit eventually with rock hands. And then I have another one that's like the floor pattern from the Black Lodge in Twin Peaks. And I was like, fuck yeah. So um, I've been wearing those ones a lot too, cause they're very comfortable. And then my plain black one, when I feel like wearing it, ones I did get that I haven't worn out yet because they do need a liner. I will say these do need a liner because the fabric on the inside is not like tightly woven fabric, but I got these from Shukuru, Shukuru Couture. They're one strap, so they're very comfortable, but it's sequins and I'm like, Hell yes, sequin. So this one's, I think, orchid, the orchid one. Very pretty. Um, there's a pocket for a liner in there though. So if you do have a liner, it works really well. Um, and then this one is also from Shakuru. So pretty. Oh my God, look at this. Seriously, I'm like into the idea of masks becoming fashion. I literally downloaded custom content masks for my Sims because I loved the look of it so much. Can cyber goth become a thing in 2020? I'm into it. Like I'm wearing like a fucking like vegan leather strappy thing, harness. First half of the video is just Abby being like, look at all these things that I'm excited about. But that's kind of like what my old get ready with me's were. And also it's very warm and I took a little bite of an edible a little bit ago. So, um, but I got this necklace from Nasty Gem. Um, oh, yes, and then this Nasty necklace, Gem. this necklace and these earrings actually came as a set and they're like super sturdy. I'm really into it. It's like heavy, but not too heavy. And then they have like ear weights and then some chokers that are actually like strong enough for like light BDSM. So that's cool. I'm not doing any of that right now because my boyfriend and I are quarantined apart. But yeah, they have some really cool chokers, jewelry, backpacks. If you've been looking for like an alternative to buying shit from Dolls Kill, Nasty Gem, I'll leave a link. I think there was like a couple other shops online that were more like clothing based that I'd seen that I haven't bought anything from, but like jewelry, I'm into this. I've been playing The Sims so much. Oh my God. I've been playing The Sims an insane amount with mods. I got mods. I got mods. I got MC Command Center. I'm a real Sims YouTuber now. I got MC Command Center. Um, I play with BB Move Objects on. Testing cheats true. Oh, I downloaded Wicka, 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 Wicked Whims. Um, that's been a time. Uh, yeah, um, it's fun. And then there's also 
the mod of the extreme violence mod, which has been also hilarious to use when I'm stressed out. Um, Cause one of, the, one of the towns I've been playing in, there's like a peeping Tom character that I swear I've killed three times in the game and it's always fun each time because there's so many different ways you could do it trust me i'm okay but like it's been very fun to kill sims in the most ridiculous of ways one of which being suffocate with a diaper and it's so fucking funny so yeah i can't obviously do that on stream because that would be too violent or the wicked whim stuff would be too too sexual because oh my god um oh my god the care that that people take in making the animations for this mod just <laughs> i literally have worn makeup like once in the last week when i went on the half cousins podcast um because i've been going to work and there's no point it's like i'm wearing a mask the whole day so it's like why would i put on eyeshadow when it's just gonna make my nose like the nose bridge of the mask dirty i'm sitting in an office in a fishbowl of an office it's kind of nice honestly it's kind of nice just being able to like exist without anybody caring. I'm like, why would why would people dislike this? Why would people not want to do this? Why would people not want to just like exist six feet away from everybody at all times and not have to talk to people? Why? Yeah. The, okay. Let's get into some heavier things. So I will have a clip of this at the end of the video that I will include. Uh, something that I've been wanting to do just for like my own peace of mind and because my sister works with the elderly. I got tested the other day for Corona. Um, I haven't gotten my results back, but I feel fine. Just so you know. In Seattle, they've been doing this thing called scan. Basically you like sign up, you take a survey and you have to go on at like two o'clock on one day. And then there's like a certain number of tests they can send out in a day. So you take the quiz, not the quiz, you take the survey and then if you made it in time, they'll be like, we'll send you one tomorrow here's the instructions we'll pick it up like two hours later i did that yesterday and it was so easy actually it, i washed my hands like six times but it was basically just like sticking something up my nose to the point where i felt like i really needed to sneeze and i cried because it hit probably hit my tear duct to some degree but um it wasn't painful but i also had like a decently high pain tolerance i didn't gag and it was super easy literally and it was free so uh, obviously that's just a seattle and seattle surrounding area thing so um i would look into and seeing if any of your communities have something like that i know not everywhere has that but i know that there's like a handful of you that do watch my channel that are from seattle hi how we doing yeah it was really easy and it was free and so it's just peace of mind Obviously I'll update you guys when I get my results tomorrow or the next day. That was a thing that I did. And it was actually like, not a big deal. Now I'm gonna take, I wanna just do like an all red look today. I think I'm just gonna do like an all reddish thing and then do like a maybe purple shimmer on the eye. That'll be fun. Dark shade from my lethal palette. But yeah, so that was a thing that I did that I'll have a clip of me doing it at the end of the video. I didn't want to put it in the middle in case anybody gets squeamish and they don't want to see me stick something up my nose. But that's there just as like a reference. So yeah, uh, that's kind of why I've been not doing great. Uh, not because I'm sick, but because I'm seeing how little people give a shit uh, around the country. Um, because basically every other country right now is looking at the United States the way that the rest of the United States looks at Florida. Sorry, Florida. Florida's gonna Florida. Like, oh my God. I have, I have several friends. There's several beauty YouTubers here that I talk to who are from Florida. And oh my God, I'm constantly afraid for you all the time. I'm sorry. I wish I could bring all of you here and it would just be easy and fun and a great time. But Florida, why is it so hot all the time? I hate it. Literally my upper lip is already sweating. I'm gonna take my Midas palette because I need this other red. This one right here. This is soy milk. This is not the color of soy milk, but I love this palette. This little quad. Um, yeah, it's just been um, terrifying to watch uh, the numbers jump every day. And I hope everybody is being as safe as fucking possible because holy shit, this is not over and it's not gonna be over for a long time, especially if people keep acting like people in Florida. 
I don't know how I stumbled upon Chris's video last night, but Chris Clemens posted a video. It's just like, I'm just done. And it I've never related more to Chris Clemens than in that video. Cause he was just angry about like everything. And I was like, how are you me? Like I, yeah, obviously like, uh, uh, and he, he, he made a great point where it's like, if you're not angry about at least something right now, you're not paying attention or you're asleep. Like th there's so much to be angry about, whether it's the uh, the coronavirus pandemic or the um, the racism pandemic. There are protests still happening. Like, oh my God, the feds are probably in Seattle right now because they were just in Portland. Yeah, I've been paying attention. Uh, that, that's uh, paying attention to the news and seeing stuff from like the front lines from my friends who have been to protests, who have been out on the streets. It's been terrifying. Looking at what was happening in Portland, I also have a friend who has been out on the streets in Portland for like weeks now. Literally people have been just being kidnapped by unmarked officers and put into unmarked vans and driven away to undisclosed locations. Like this is fascism and it is happening right now and people need to pay attention and they need to wake the fuck up because this is terrifying. That's partially why I haven't like felt the need to make any more videos about like beauty community issues right now because A, it's already been said and everything that I would say has already been said by so many other people. So I'd rather just like amplify their voices <laughs> and just like share the videos and be like, hey, this person makes all the points that I would make about everything fucking happening with the beauty community. Like Amanda, uh, Kenya, Hannah, Luke, like so many fucking people, ha uh, Angelica, like all these people have been talking about stuff happening right now that in, in the beauty community that I don't even want to talk about because the thing is, like I'm not going to make a standalone video about Jebediah Sasquatch's fucking video because he didn't say anything in it. Like he didn't say, a th he didn't do anything in it. The only thing he did was have the audacity to utter Brianna Taylor and Elijah McLean's names without putting anything in the description box to use it as a deflection from his own mistakes and his own bullshit. He, he says their names, but doesn't link to anything, doesn't say anything about them doesn't actually like do anything to help the victims at all. That that was really the only thing that I was just like, wow, he got more evil. Like he got more, more evil than he already was. And I thought that was difficult. Like that was hard to out evil himself, but he did. But if you want to know my thoughts, I will link every video that I have watched. And I've just been like, fuck yeah, you took the words out of my mouth because I am not gonna make a standalone video because I don't want to, I don't want to. Like I said, there's other people who are quicker than I am when it comes to this stuff. So I'm just like, I, what they said, what they said. Like, I don't see a point in just like reiterating things that have already been said. Pretty much the only time I ever make videos about commentary stuff is when I feel like that I have like some sort of unique perspective or something that I haven't heard other people say. Cause I don't necessarily like making videos just reiterating what other people have said. When it comes to YouTube stuff where I'm like, oh, I've been on YouTube longer than a lot of these people. Here's the context of it in a 10 year span of YouTube time. You know, like where, where I have something to add that hasn't been said. That's really the only time where I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna make this fucking video, you know? Red eyeshadow, okay. <laughs> Taking the soy milk again. This is a fun color. I feel like I should, I need liner with this, but I haven't, sharpened my liner. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, there's just, there's just a lot of stuff happening. Like the president, um, there's, there's literally so much that the president has done that I can't even just like list or even just dig into anything that just scares me, but it all scares me. Like it, it's all scary. Every, all of it. The fact that he sent feds to Portland to pick up people because he decided that he wanted to declare Antifa a terrorist organization, which isn't even an organization. Like the, I don't even know. I don't even, it's scary. It's terrifying and it's scary. And if you are out on the streets, again, if you are out on the streets, please cover your face, travel in groups of four, at least, holy shit, do not go out by yourself. Oh my God, like literally like buddy system, buddy system, buddy system. Don't wear clothes that are like, that people can identify you with, like wear like the most basic clothing, cover yourself as much as you can because literally there are pages on Twitter, accounts on Twitter where people are trying to dox 
protesters by like finding photos and videos of people in different cities and they'll be like, you find this person. And like literally they're trying to get people killed. So please, if you are going out on the streets, protesting. I wish I could be there. Travel in groups, cover yourself as much as you can, and don't wear identifying clothing. That was my spiel. Um, so please, uh, if you can, donate to bail funds in Portland. Like, pay attention to what's going on in Portland. Um, if there's stuff happening in your city, uh, bail funds locally as well. And also, there's still like a humanitarian crisis in Yemen that I, I have seen a handful of people talk about, which has been great. But I feel like with everything happening in the United States right now, a lot of that is getting ignored. So I will leave a link to some information and to some ways you can help with the humanitarian crisis in Yemen. If you have the resources, money right now, or just share things, spread the word as much as you can, because anything when it comes to that stuff helps. Maybe a little bit of, what is this one, plum? I think this one's plum. I don't have a glitter glue. Lacey, don't sue me. I'm not using a glitter glue, I'm sorry. My eye's sweating, so hopefully it just sticks. Glitter glue or sweat? It works. All right, that's fun. These JD Glow shadows are second to none when it comes to shimmer. Seriously, like, if you Google at the Pat McGrath, the like multi-dimensional beautiful shimmery sparkly things um and you don't want to pay the hundred and some odd dollars for one of her palettes um jd glow shadows are very similar as far as like finish and formula um i did order some more things but i bought some lipsticks from propa propa beauty because they were sold out the last time i checked which is nice which is cool but i ordered a couple today and i realized that ordering lipstick in a time when i'm wearing a mask on my face every day might not seem like the most useful thing but you know sometimes you just want to put on a lipstick when you're at home and it's still fun to show in videos da, 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 da. What have y'all been watching on YouTube? I'll admit I haven't been watching a lot of beauty YouTube just because like really the only stuff I've been watching have been like my friends. I'll link my beauty community tag in the uh, card if you have not seen that video. That was one of my more recent videos to talk about new things. Oh my God. So when I did that video, um, I had a bunch of you comment saying that I need to check out Kenny JD and oh my God, I love her so much. I binged so many of her videos after you guys mentioned and it was like, wait, she does, she talks about bad movies and puts on makeup. How have I never been recommended this content before? That's literally half of what I watch, makeup and bad movie content. So so I have been loving her videos and um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna do that Mary-Kate and Ashley thing coming up. The Mary-Kate and Ashley movies, I, I don't know if I would like count them as like bad movies, but they're just like nostalgic movies for me. So I feel like I wanna do something where it's like just nostalgic movies, but not necessarily bad movies. The Mary-Kate and Ashley movies, Josie and the Pussycats. I don't know why. Why was I reminded of Josie and the Pussycats? Oh, cause Audra said I reminded her of Parker Posey and I was like, that was such a great compliment. And I was like, fuck yeah, Parker Posey in the 90s. Yes, please. That's way better. Like I always, I always used to get like compared to Blossom in the 90s. So I'm like, I'm way into Parker Posey in the 90s. Hell yes. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Josie and the Pussycats is a movie that I would gladly talk about because it is so fucking underrated. That movie was before its time. Before its time. Absolutely. It's such a genius idea for a movie and it's so funny and like the music is good and like the characters are so ridiculous. It was like the height of Rachel Lee Cook's career. The hair and the fashion, oh, peak, peak late 90s, early 2000s, like millennium fashion. Oh, I love it so much. This is gonna be such a scatterbrained video, but like, you know. Sometimes you just wanna put on makeup and ramble for a while. I feel like there was something else I was gonna talk about. No. Oh, okay. Well, one thing before I go off on another tangent. There's still an election happening, like primary season right now. 
Um, Washington State's primary is in like a week and a half. I believe we're getting our ballots like right now. Josh just got his in the mail today. He told me, <laughs> he texted me, he was like, I got my ballot. And I'm just like, yay. I'm so happy that it, like he gets excited about it now because that's 100% my fault. Yeah, so like register to vote, seriously, because holy shit, holy shit. We need to vote because that's the power that we have. And right now it's kind of the only power we have unless you're out on the streets and like trying to make things happen like with city council and statewide things. And so vote for the love of God. Do I even wanna put on a highlighter? I kinda don't wanna put on a highlighter and I kinda just wanna like stick to this Fenty Glow thing. Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset. It's so good. <laughs> I kinda wanna do my hair these colors, but orange I feel like would look balls on me, literally. <laughs> so Libby and I have been watching a lot of Smosh. Oh, I've been watching a lot of Plumbella and Lil Simsy. Um, Oh, like I said, Kenny JD, it's a lot, like Smosh Pit, like not the Smosh sketches, cause I'm not a huge fan of sketches really on YouTube, unless it's a Gus Johnson sketch. Like the Try Not To Laugh games are like stupid and funny. And like Damien's like such a fucking cute, adorable boy. Thank you, Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Literally, best mascara. Okay, there's that. Lips. I don't want to put on like a lip gloss. I'll put on that Mented lip gloss. Um, this is the Mented Cosmetics lip gloss. It's like a My Lips But Better type thing. It's like pigmented, but not too pigmented. And it's not so like, I don't know, it's like a lip cream, you'll, you'll see. So it's like pigmented, but not like so, like goopy or anything. Cause I feel like sometimes when like you get like really pigmented glosses, they're like really thick and like sticky. It honestly feels a little bit like the NYX matte cream, the, 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 the liquid matte cream mousse thing. I'm filming a video and I'm almost done. Can I call you when I'm done? Just to get ready with me, just to kind of get back in the swing of things. What, you just want to stay on the phone while I'm talking? That's the look today. Um, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just gonna go make some rice pudding because I have to use up the rest of the half and half that Libby and I have in our fridge. Quarantine life, you're like, don't wanna waste any fucking food. Uh, for today's song of the day, get, get, get back to the song of the day. Uh, a mashup actually of Encore and Numb from Jay-Z and Linkin Park. It's a, it's a oldie, it's an oldie, <laughs> it's, it's an old song, um, but, I was reminded today, uh, cause today actually is the three year anniversary of when, uh, Chester Bennington of Lincoln Park sadly passed away. Um, and also it happens to be Chris Cornell's 56th birthday if he was still alive. So it's a, it's a heavy day for rock music fans, but I was just reminded today that like that whole, like is it Collision Course? Like they're they, like Jay-Z and Linkin Park did an entire record of like mashups, which is unheard of now, which I like all of them are great. Like they're all great, but that one particularly, fantastic. It took like Numb, which is already like a perfect song and like made it that much cooler. And I'm like, yes, thank you. Um, That's the that, one of, one of, there are like a few music regrets, like people who I didn't get to photograph. I did actually get to photograph Chris Cornell when he played um, a show with Temple of the Dog, like less than a year before he died. <laughs> but not ever seeing Linkin Park live is like a regret of mine because Damn, they were like one of my faves when I was a preteen. Like in middle school, like Meteora was like one of the many things on like my life soundtrack. <laughs> but yeah, Numb and Encore, Jay-Z and Lincoln Park is your song of the day. So there will be a ton of links in my description. Um, shit happening in Portland, um, Louisville, still a ton of stuff happening in Louisville, um, Yemen, uh, like the humanitarian crisis in Yemen. And if you are in the Seattle area, I will have a link to the scan public health thing to get a test sent to your home. So you can do it at home on yourself for your own peace of mind. And especially for people who have gone back to work and have inadvertently just come in contact with more people because the economy, right? Oh, fuck. Here's a quick video of me giving myself the at-home test. Um, if you, there's nothing I'm gonna have of importance after the video, but if you don't wanna watch it, you can leave now. Thanks. 
but here that is. I got one of these in the mail. I don't have to go anywhere to get tested. My friend Caroline did this the other day and I was like, I want to as well because Libby works at a nursing home and I want to be extra careful. So, comes with a return thing. Quick start guide. Please follow the steps outlined in this guide for taking a swab and mailing it back to us. Blow your nose and wash your hands thoroughly before you begin. I will do that. Press swab against the side of your nose. Move the swab in a circle five times so it touches as much of the inside of your nose as possible. Place the swab into the solution in the provided tube. Break the swab handle at the score line by bending back and forth. Screw cap on tightly. Write your first and last name as written when you enrolled in scan and the date on your tube. We cannot test your swab without your full name on the tube. So this is the tube that comes with the liquid. The swab. Oh, that's not that far. So I'm gonna blow my nose. All right, here it is. Looks like you're showing a makeup brush. Well, it's how you get it to focus. I know, it's just funny. <laughs> <laughs> just, here's the nose swab, you know. Which nostril should I do? It's the one that doesn't have the um, ring in it. Good idea. <laughs> but yeah, just stick it up till it makes you, till there's tension. Till it pushes back at you. Go a little higher. There you go. There you go. It makes you cry. Makes uh -huh. you cry. <laughs> okay, you're good. Probably maybe 10, 5, 7, 78. Okay. okay. Yeah, you got it. Oh, my eye. <laughs> I told you. I'm crying. here on my face <laughs> and that went pretty far up to the that was at the base of my nostril think, yeah. right yeah it actually did go all the way I up. told you you got a long nose they couldn't have put this fucking sticker on a piece of paper and then I rip it off I had to write it on the side of the tube kind of hold it down here and I put it it's in here it's all stickums but yeah that was easy uncomfortable but not not ridiculous now my nose is running but it happened <laughs> but yeah and then I'll just log on later to take a little quiz and then I'll find out in a couple of days yeah okay so thanks for watching everybody. This was a very long and scatterbrained video, but that's kind of how my brain has been the last week. It's just been a lot of shit happening that I'm just fucking mad about, you know? Cause like literally what the hell is happening? Uh, thanks so much to my patrons. I appreciate you so, so much. I will have a stream this week. We will do some Sims streaming with y'all. We can hang out. Eyes and lips and cheek stuff. If you want to check it out, will be in the description. Stay safe. Wear your mask, please. Check in with your friends. Not in person, but just like call them, you know. People are going through some shit, so. Uh, thanks for watching everyone and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. And it's gonna be an anti-haul. Yeah.